Welcome everyone to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip as well as a mods quick tip where I'm going to show you how to use a word cloud mod freely downloadable, pluggable, no code required, all available on our community. So the way we find this, like I showed in my last video with the animated bubble chart is on this page on tipgo.com. These are all the free community mods. And I'm gonna put a link to this page in the video description so you can find it easily. Uh, and we're looking today at the word cloud mod. So if I click that, I can go to learn more. That will take me to the exchange on the Tipco uh, community. And I can try the mod if I wanna see, okay, cool, this is what I wanna use. There's a lot of different names here. This is what I'm gonna use today. And so I can go ahead and I can download this mod, which I've already done and I've put into Spotfire. So if you watched our last video, you know that we can go ahead and just download that zip file, drag the mod file into Spotfire, and then it will be available in our flyout, like this word cloud, after we've clicked the dots and we can save it to the library for everyone else in our organization to use or people in our group, and we can pin it as well. So this has already been saved in the library and this has already been pinned. Um, and this this data we're going to use today is actually on Amazon um, bestsellers from 2009 to 2020. Uh, so I'm going to resize this and you can see these are the names of all of the different books. These are the authors. These are the genres, the number of views, the price, the user rating, things like that. Right. So let's go ahead and just drag this word cloud mod in. And again, Spotfire visualizations, they require us to look at data in terms of categorical and numerical variable types. So here I have a drop down for the text I want to use. So this is the column for whatever text you want in your word cloud. And I want to put the author in here. So this is a categorical type. So there's the number of, um, there's all the different authors and it's colored by year. Instead of coloring it by year, let's color it by the uh, user rating. And I'm gonna give this a different color here. Uh, let's add a point. I'm gonna give this the median and let's call the median, let's make that yellow. The good ones, the best rated will give green and the worst ones will give red, okay? So those are all the ratings and I wanna size this by not the number of books, so row count's gonna be the number of books. I'm gonna size this by the number of reviews. So that's gonna be a numerical or continuous variable that's used there. And um, we wanna do this as a sum. And here we go. So we have the average rating um, on this color by, and that color by can be categorical or uh, continuous categorical or numerical. Uh, and here we have, we see Susan Collins, Paula Hawkins, E.L. James, uh, and, I, and this is all fully marking uh, in an interactive. So if I create a details visualization of a table, uh, I'm gonna put this over here, throw away my other one. Okay, so here's the 50 Shades series. Uh, so lots of these 50 Shades of Grey books, E.L. James, um, having pretty good user ratings. It's uh, kind of orange, so not as high as Delia Owens here, who is probably uh, the most reviewed and the highest rated author on this list. And so this is where the crawdad's saying that is on my reading list. I don't know anything about that book, but Amazon tells me I'll like it, so I'll probably check it out. Uh, so there's Delia Owens, and here's Paula Hawkins, Girl on the Train. Uh, now, before you jump right out of this, there is actually a little hidden gear icon here and this gives you more options so you can choose if you want to rotate it into horizontal and vertical i think that looks pretty cool it looks like a piece of art although i don't know if i would really rotate it myself in terms of data visualization you can put it on angles too but you know your eyes are going to gravitate towards those that are orient that are oriented in a, a pretty flat way pretty horizontal way and your eyes are probably not going to like focus on some of the other ones that are oriented in weird ways uh, so while it looks pretty cool, I don't know if I would really use that. Uh, I'd probably keep it as horizontal. And then there's also this option if you wanted to disperse out across or be centralized into like a nice little oval or circle or whatever area you have that in. So I can make this actually, you know, smaller. And now that has now centralized around the center there. And um, there is also this option. Uh, where's this little gear? There it is, that gear uh, to change the font. Um, you can use impact font or you can kind of go back to, to this. And you know, there's also this normalize option. I just leave the normalized font checked. That's just gonna make sure it all scales well. You don't have tiny, tiny ones and large, large ones. It's it's all gonna be normalized to the the, the size and the distribution of, uh, of the different font sizes that are in your data column there. 
So I'm gonna just take this back to disperse and I, I like that look right now. So here, this is a really easy way to look at a lot of text data very, uh, very simply in a word cloud, uh, looking at this categorical text data, seeing all of these authors, what are the good ones, what are the worst ones, how are they rate, and how many reviews do they have. So that's it for today's quick tip. Very simple to use that word cloud mod. If you have a mod of your own you wanna share, go ahead and submit it to us. I'm gonna put a link in the video description of how you can do that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing other mods videos showing you how to use the other custom visualizations and mods available in Spotfire 11 and above. Thanks and we'll see you next time.